Welcome back to 504 Road Trips. Today we're going to take a short driving tour of La Crosse, Wisconsin. I'm going to go over some information about La Crosse, but I'm not going to point out much of what you're seeing because I don't have any first-hand knowledge of the city. So if you have information that you think is relevant, please post it in the comments section below. And don't forget to include a timestamp. We begin as we enter the historic downtown area of La Crosse. The city has a population of 52,680 as of the 2020 census and is the county seat of La Crosse County. The La Crosse metropolitan area, which includes all of La Crosse County as well as Houston County, Minnesota just across the Mississippi River, has a population of 139,627. The first written record of any visit to the present day site of La Crosse was when Lieutenant Zebulon Pike mounted an expedition up the Mississippi River. Pike recorded the name as Prairie Lacrosse, a name which originated from a game with sticks that resembled a bishop's cross played by indigenous people here. In 1841, New York native Nathan Myrick built a temporary trading post on Barron Island, which lies in the Mississippi River just to the west of Lacrosse. A year later, he relocated his trading post to the mainland prairie. A small village began to grow around the post. Stores, a hotel, and a post office were constructed. Surveyor William Hood platted the village in 1851, opening it up for future settlement, which was achieved rapidly as a result of promotion of the city in eastern newspapers. By 1855, the population reached 2,000 and the city was incorporated in 1856. The city continued to grow with the completion of the La Crosse and Milwaukee Railroad in 1858. In the late 1800s, La Crosse grew to be one of the largest cities in Wisconsin. It was a center of the lumber industry, for logs cut in the interior of the state could be rafted down the Black River towards sawmills built in the city. La Crosse also became a center for the brewing industry and other manufacturers that saw advantages in the city's location adjacent to major transportation arteries, such as the Mississippi River and the railroad between Milwaukee and St. Paul, Minnesota. Today, La Crosse is a regional technology, medical, education, manufacturing, and transportation hub. Companies based in the La Crosse area include Organic Valley, Logistics Health Incorporated, Quick Trip, La Crosse Technology, City Brewing Company, and Train. La Crosse is a college town with over 20,000 students and home to the University of Wisconsin La Crosse, Viterbo University, and Western Technical College.
This concludes our city tour of La Crosse, Wisconsin. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please give us a thumbs up, post a comment, subscribe, share and follow us on social media, and join us for our next 504 road trip.